So unlike the previous video, I got some coffee here to keep me alive. And let's continue this investigation for my my, my home. That's not probably not totally not maybe think I maybe he might be dead, might I don't believe it dead. Looks oh, Mike's not even by my mouth. What's up? Titan. Looks like I better investigate the other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating other areas inside the warehouse first. But as long as I don't have to talk to anybody. Damn it! Monokuma panels? Mm hmm? There are a lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panel near the curtain in the back is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? But why are they scattered like this? Last time I came here, I seem to recall. They should have been neatly put away. Hmm. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? See? Look, it's a puff of a panel by the uh, it's a puff of panel by the entrance really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason the panel's the door is When I can't even got all whoop ass on the door, what did the door do to you? No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'd be fine. With those words, I can't even brush off everyone's warnings to slowly open the door to the warehouse. Huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Ah, I knew it! It's a trap! Seriously, stop it already! Did I tell you you'll be fine? Just gotta use a little more force. What happened? Open it slowly! I can't even ignore the protest and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. And then, maybe that's what killed Nagito. The door itself. Like, she kicked the door so hard, the doors went flying through the room, slapped Nagito in the face, the thing beam, chains fell, and the rope tied on him, and. Yeah, let's just say it was the door, okay? If he is dead, maybe. Could it be? What's that? Well? Uh, there's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey! These Monokuma paddles are stepped over starting from the engine's built back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, the line is the only one that need an orderly. So... Isn't this clearly strange? Strange? That means we can speculate this was done intentionally. Or we can just say it's a domino effect and end that argument here. Why does nobody listen to me? Oh yeah, the Dark Souls music. This is an MP3 player. It's even a speaker plug into it. Why is this here? Maybe. Looks like it weird music was playing from there. Dark Souls 4 music, you mean? Dark Souls 4 music. Hmm. You know how that music was playing when the fire started? Yeah, you're right. It looks like it's possible to get drenched by the sprinklers. It's no mistake, that music was playing from an MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but why was the killer playing music for this? MP3 player! Man, it's gonna feel like it's going a lot quicker in the previous video, considering mm. I was dying in the previous video. Looks like this side is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if it was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. But it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put out that fire. We didn't do shit! The fire put itself out by alerting the sprinklers. The fire was like, yo, kill this because like, sure. That weird shit. Don't, don't, don't act like we came here and were like, fire be gone. The fire disappeared. Oh, beat him up like, beat the fire up like a you know, family guy. Hey, hey. But there was a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing grenades. You are right. I agree. If we did, we would have been caught by the sprinklers and became all wet and soggy. You act like you were a paper bag or something. What? What? <laughs> Miss Sonia, oh, wait. I guess she's all drenched and soggy. <laughs> hey, you were thinking that, huh? Totally what I was thinking. Totally. I was gonna, I was gonna bring it up before you did, but then you did. And I was like, he's doing it, so I don't have to do it, but I can agree with what he's saying. Therefore, Nah, I wasn't thinking that at all. Say what? Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. <laughs> you're, you're screwing with me. Yes. Oh yes. my? Screwing. How lewd. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey, hey. 
Hey! <laughs> Please don't look at me, that's just me of eyes. I mean, you may just be two a second. Kazuichi, you should probably just keep your mouth shut already. If it's, he digs his own hole all the time, he digs his own hole. Just keep digging, just keep digging, just keep digging, digging, digging. Instead of finding Dory, he's finding Betty. Oh my god, that was kind of dark. Uh, uh, that was kind of dark. Any else to come? No, just talk to everybody. Alright, cool. Hey, hey, hey! Don't care, Kazuhichi. I don't even want to voice you because you're a chick. I'm not thinking about a countdown. I have to be left through the class trial. Oh, I think I said that wrong. Uh, looks like Sonya's foreign cooks are investigating the warehouse. Remi which reminds me, something I needed to ask her about. I you pretty much finished investigating Nagito's body. I think it's time to ask her. Hey, Sonya, do you have a minute? Um. Yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito said in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It is alright, it's not a bomb! Why did you know the bombs were fake? Um... Um, well... That's not all either. We were looking for the bombs. Why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you and why were you doing that in that time? Oh my! Oh, dear, dear God! Ah. It's now he's your propositioning me! I mean, it cannot I be. Do, do you suspect me? It is a misunderstanding, I am not the killer! Jesus shit, you son of a bitch! Sonia? I am sorry! Ah, I, I'm sorry, I was panicking! Um. <laughs> Best panic I've seen in this game. Of Jesus shit, you son of a bitch! She looks so hyperbited as well! Man, can I go back? Uh. Ah, yes, I'll calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? Well? At first, I was worried someone would use them for nefarious reasons if I announced to everyone. So I kept it silent the whole time. Does that mean when you had Nagito planted the bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate that them? That is. And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered. Please listen! And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs I get to port from the military base. Which means they were fake bombs. How did you find that the bombs in the military base were fake? Um, because I attempted to use one of them. What? I see. I thought one I of the see. bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient um, ruin. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real. And I thought I could use one of them to gain engines to that ancient ruin. Uh, Clever. Yes. Our plan was an utter failure. So you were like, oh, like Monaco when he gets disappointed, Monaco when he gets to Monaco. <laughs> How disappointing. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. Uh, uh, isn't that, isn't that a song? God damn it, all to hell. Why are you going to struggle to say words like you do? I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Why don't we be like, bro? I ain't gonna give you the shit. You think what? Uh, wait, maybe I can hide behind my. Still, why don't we be like, bro? I let you get in the shit. You must be joking. You, you, you get in the shit. I'll kill you. I'll, I'll kill you. That, that's the look that she has on her face. Which means, if the bombs are the same ones that disappeared, you mean the Nagito took them. That's why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nagito blew up the hotel lobby. That bomb was real. I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that had been Nagito's plan all along. Show us a real bomb to make us believe the bombs he said were real. If so, then Nagito's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is, his reason for doing it. Um... Which, this, with this I've explained everything. Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. So it is a code! has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. If you need some cash, don't forget to use Sonya's account. I was able to find some clues. There's still so many things I don't understand yet. Hold it, you look worried. Yeah, I am. Well? At a time like this, it might be good for you to broaden your investigation range. Uh, you mean, it's good to investigate other places as well? Which might be right. There's several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonya mentioned, the plushy factory next door, 
It's me castle where the spear originally came from, and Nagito's room too. I'm going to understand the reason for his actions, I need to know more about him. Um, I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Can you hear hey you guys! Me? Is it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? In response to Chiaki, others started gathering around her, and he performed the ritual summoning to summon Satan. I see. I agree. I, see. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems you had the same idea. Huh? But it's safe. It won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have a choice. It's not enough for us. Besides, investigate all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like clothes we found are enough to pierce this incident together. We need to search for them in other areas, probably. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, if there aren't any clues in any other areas either, we either have to give up, we'd have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. Hey, hey! It's okay if you leave this place. Well, it's okay. Like, I mean, seriously, it's okay. Because uh, it's kind of creeping me out. Not really old creeping me out, but dear Nagito. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. We don't if we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why, there's no time for us to stand around. Okay, go to the factory first. Because that's closest by and probably has the least amount of things to look at. Well, I, I would think Nezumi Castle has the least amount of things to look at because there's only one thing to look at. But alright, anybody to talk to? Okay. Do we have to go into the break room? Okay, Sonia? My! I've never seen so many Monokumas in my life! You've never seen Monokuma before you've been here. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. Exactly! However... I was staring at all these Monokumas that thought you could me. Well? The bomb that went off at the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it will make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing! A plushie bomb is an act of terrorism! A plushie bomb? So you're telling me, had I bought a Monokuma plushie, there was perhaps a chance there being a bomb inside. Or a scissor. Alright. Haga Monokuma too tight get stabbed. Hanamo Haga Monokuma too tight get blown up. So the danger of having a Monokuma plushie. But despite the risk, you still want one. It's brilliant. All right. Let us rip apart this right away so we can confirm it. Oh, hold on. There was a bomb inside this. Wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? Easy, Either time. way, it's all gravy. All gravy? What the hell does that mean? No stop. There's no bomb. Hey. You'll know um, if you just pick me up. See? You feel a sort of weight of cotton. I see. I hmm. see. You're all right. However... Then why did Nagito open him the bomb he used? Who knows? I wonder. Hmm. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. You should know it wasn't from the military base. What? Tell you the truth, the bombs, they're all fakes. Please wait. I know that already. You, you should have said so earlier. No. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Phew. I feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from a military base or this factory, then he brought it from the octagon. Well done! I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. <laughs> Let's try it. That is... Did I say something I should not have said? It's not your fault. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Monokuma's account. Hey, Monokuma's account. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Apparently the bombs that were stuffed on this truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from a military base. Nagito must have brought it from there. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Laptop. That reminds me, when we saw Nagito's video message on this laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he make it to time his message so perfectly? It looks like a video was set up to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from a detonator. Or why did he have to use a video message? That's the one I don't get. At the time, Nagito should have already been killed, which means that video was recorded in advance. That's right. Besides that video, maybe data on this laptop maybe can be used as a clue. I thought in mind, try messing around with the laptop, but it's no use. It's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. 
No work on. That's an enormous machine. Alright, don't need to look at that. Break room. The break room is on the other side of this door. So you obtain the fire grenades. Anything inside? Hmm. There's nothing on the floor that looks like a clue, not even trash. Oh, we're done. Okay. I thought there was still more shit to do. I saw a little bit. So the plushie factory is done. Which is probably the quickest place that we could have investigated. Yeah, all the military boys. Okay. Let's go, Molly. Let's go, Molly. Um, Chibime. When are you going to evolve? I'm curious as to what Chibime is going to evolve into, considering like the evolutions depend on how much despair versus how much hope they have. And if you leave it at maximum hope, then it stays Chibime. Alright. Ah, I found it! Hmm? What did you find? Huh? Well, there's a chunk bed over there, there's guns in it, but I also found stuff like a survival knife. Wait, that's... Isn't that the same type of knife that stabbed the Nagito's right hand? Maybe... Which means the killer obtained a knife here! Oh, right. So the killer someone who was in the military base at least once! That's everyone though. <laughs> no, not me! It's the first time I've been here! That sounds fishy. Okay, I can leave. What is this thought to confirm? I looked at everything. Oh, there's Monokum over there. Hey, Monokuma! I knew you could do it! I knew I could do it too! That's my homie! Uh. Oh, the truck here in front. When I try to look into the, the, the truck bed, it's empty. Nothing's here. When I first came here, there's something on the truck bed, which means Sonya was telling the truth. And as I suspected, the bombs has disappeared. Thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs are nowhere to be found. But did Nagato know the bombs were in real? Is it possible that they thought that he thought they were the real thing? No, never mind. He said as much in his video message. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. You really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did Nagito only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. Leave here. We're almost done. We're almost done. Let's check Nagito's room first and then we can go check the spear of GG afterwards. The spear of GG. Yeah, wrong way. Hi there, Cringe is here. Oh, Chibime. I was about to give a PSA I was dying inside. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Ah, Jackie. Sup, bitch? Mm -hmm. I'm annoyed. What happened? I'm annoyed. What are you annoyed about? I say basically not get discouraged, but I'm annoyed. Hmm? Hmm, I'm annoyed. I don't really understand, but you can't... Uh, but... You can't investigate Nagito's cottage? I guess you try investigating Nagito's cottage. Huh? It's locked. <sighs> Apparently. We can't go inside thanks to that. I'm annoyed. There's nothing I can do. I'm going to investigate another area. What are you going to do? Um, I'll look for Murakuma. He might open it for us. Let me know when you can go inside. Yep. Yeah, got it. Why don't we just do what Nagito did and shout for Monokuma? Monokuma will definitely appear for Hajime. What are you doing? A spear with a flashy ornament is hanging from the wall. It's a spear. It's definitely it, it, right? I see. Just as I thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle and is awaited at the end of it. Also... Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Hm. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Ganga, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a name, name like that. But why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Well, yeah. Yeah, you gotta just kill him with a knife. It would've been easier too. There's no way a spear like this is... There's no way a spear like this with this unnecessary cord thing would be easy to use. Yeah, definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose a spear for a reason. 
could that the reason be? I feel a little tired. No matter how much investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. So I probably feel this way. Probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling a strange feeling I've never felt before. As if Nagito is trying to make us suffer even after he's died. Now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even I haven't even I haven't even investigated this cottage yet. It's still early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. Back to the cottage! Actually, yeah, I forgot. I can just do this. And you go in. And in. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, 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 I was running earlier. Hey, Morokuba! What's this? Oh my! You want to go inside Nagito's room too? Hajime! Ah, Hajime! What are you doing? I was just do? listening to Chiaki's request! She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's garage because she really needs it for the class trial! <sighs> she picked to me to do it while she was licking my black eye! Um, I didn't do that! Boy! Then do it! Brown. It's sweet because it's made of black beans! Hey, we don't have time to mess around! How do you unlock the damn door? Fine, fine! Fine, fine! Guess I have no choice! Just gotta do that, right? Now then! Bye bye loose! Bye bye! See, I've opened the door, you can freely investigate now! This isn't my first time seeing that. Why does the door open with a spot like that? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized. Hey, hey! More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. Oh shit! So Nagito was living here. What's he thinking inside this room? What is he feeling as he spent his days here? Can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope, becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. It was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue that might be hidden some. Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. I'm more curious about the fridge. There's a refrigerator. Huh? Nice. My car doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagito probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why would he go through the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As a dog is yucky, open the fridge out of curiosity. Poison. Hmm? There really isn't much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Hmm. Monaco, we're special poison! What oh, poison are you, only. Yeah, you're not gonna put it in your coffee in the morning. You're gonna put it in someone else's coffee to poison them. Monaco was poison. We kill people. That's a great, that's a great slogan, alright? That's a great, great slogan. You, you also need like a Monaco symbol somewhere on there. Like, yeah, yeah. Hmm, for someone who likes cold drinks, doesn't look like he's stuck very much. A bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? Oh, really? Looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe. Took a brown bottle out of the refrigerator and started reading the label. Exclusive made for, exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. Hey, this is. Could it be? Yeah, looks like it's poison. Poison? Ah. Looks like it's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. But be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. Stop it. If you worry me like that, I'm gonna get nervous. I grabbed a bottle with my trembling hand and began reading a warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison is made specifically for killing someone. This is a special poison. This is honestly because highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle all care. The odds of, of his of his volatility is low. The liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In gaseous state, it's heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and is susceptible to hydrolysis. So it's, po it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cold place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. This sure doesn't look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator made it must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Yagito get something like well, this? That question could apply to the bomb you used at the hotel too. Apply to the bomb? See? There should be a reason Yagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the funhouse. This poison must have brought it with him from there too, right? Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the class trial. He was hiding a bomb. And poison during the class trial? <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. What are you done if you accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, 
He already blew up, up, up the bomb that he took with him at the lobby. What about this poison? Huh? See? Looks like the bottle's left in half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Why did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? True. Another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe I was making some kind of trap using the poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be really bad. Could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you died? Hanukuba's special poison! We kill people! A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing up. Ah, could this be? Hey, let me know if you find my treasure! It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights! Perhaps. A treasure box! Chihaki, do you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monomi's stolen treasure box. Let's just see that means. The thief Monomi was talking about was Nagito. Why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, might be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be. But this could be some kind of clue, you know. If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen from Monomi in the first place. I turned back towards the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook. This is it? Why is a notebook inside the treasure box like it's something important? And what's this brown bulbous formed... Oh no, I was right, there was a dildo! Golden! I took this notebook out of the treasure box and began leaving through it. It contained sloppy drawings as they were drawn by children, as if they were drawn by children. And the entries that looked like chicken scratch. Oh. Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Biaki as the leader. A lot of things happened today, everyone's tired. What is this? A diary? Um, looks like it did. Looks like it. You want to me write this? Probably. There's pictures in an entry is totally pseudo. Kept flipping through the pages. Day three, four, five. Page of the page of poorly written entries continued in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. Right when I was about to give up, my hand it it stopped on the entry title day 16. We've been in the fun house for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go in the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one leaves him. Huh? Hey, hey! Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! Wow! From out of nowhere, when we suddenly appeared, he took a notebook I from my hand. I forgive you! I did not see you look at my treasure box. I never said you were allowed to pick inside. Jeez, that was close. I'm coming in a little bit seeing the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But if the notebook's here, um, then Nagito was a thief. No! Betrayal! I was betraying you over here with Siri. Hey, hey. Hey, that notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? Hmm? Diary? Um. Oh, it seems that way. Ta-da! That's right. It's my important diary where all my bait and secrets are written. Hey! Hey, hey, you're a liar! Oh! Oh? You're so up out of nowhere. Money! It's not good to lie, you know. Lie? <laughs> There's no way you wrote that notebook. Yeah! After all, money we can't even write. Huh? <laughs> oh, what are you saying? Jesus, I can write letters easily. I thought you could write a letter B. That's wrong! No, you can't. Because you have no fingers on your hands. <laughs> Phew! See? Bullseye. I know, because I'm the same way too. What? Huh? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weak thing like you? Hey, hey! So that was what this is about. You... You're seriously trying to crush me? What are you hmm. saying? What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. <laughs> Looks like... The time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious. What is what Monokuma said hmm? true? Huh? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? If so, who wrote in um. it? Um... Uh, well, you know, uh, how should I put this? Bye-bye! Peace out! <laughs> Hold on! Damn it, she totally ran away what? again. The same pattern as usual. Looks like a waste of time to get, try and get answers from her. But still, I wanted to ask her about the notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. Clearly, 
the only person I could have written it is whoever spoke to us at the final dead room. That being the person that's with us right now. Marami Nobu! There's a lot of books arranged here. Can I get to get this from the library? Listen to the books. There are a bunch of random crap stuff around the shelf. Might take a lot of time for us to thoroughly, thoroughly go through that stuff. Hey, hey! Let's just leave it for later. Yeah, I agree. Kind of a dumb choice, but whatever you say, man. Monokuba taking a path. No! Sensual. 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 Sensation. It's the bed that comes with the cottages. It looks just like the one in my room, but... Hey, hey! Maybe there's something out in the... Out in the out. You know, under his bed. It's the usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. Hajime, should we be looking under your bed? Well, we should just check, slow check just in case. With no exceptions and without thinking, I peeked under the bed and... Hmm? There's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. Looks like there's something inside. What is this? It looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. These look like the real deal. You get these from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves. He was hiding these under his bed. Why did he not get to use this stuff for? Obviously, use it for the poison in the fucking Ajime. fridge. Was there anything else under the bed? Hmm, let's see. I peeked under the bed once again. Started looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and... Hmm? There's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper made of blue aluminium. A round thing in place of aluminium, huh? Similar to those seals I got of the jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying. Does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Who knows? It might be too, too soon to decide that. Piece of blue paper! There are a lot of books and other mysterious items stuff on the shelf. The genres and types of items. The genres and types of items are also random. Can't they make any sense out of them whatsoever. Well? I say, a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they know? Mm. Do they know? I definitely don't know much about Dagito just by looking at this. So what should we do? It's really different to look through these piles. Mm. How's it mean we should ignore it though? Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Ajime. Wait, what? Um, it's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff there. Well, that might be true, but... See? So, I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. I sighed and walked towards the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books on the items and, and examining each one. Even as I examined each one of them, examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Huh? Well, that vial wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is the other one. That, that seal. Indeed, it's a school badge of Hope Speak Academy. Does that have any information about our stolen memories? Unfortunately, couldn't find any clues about that. The file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Nagito said, this only contain information about me, but is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? He said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be one of his lies too. I opened a file and I'm, I opened a file I had in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If it really has only my information, then why? Is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me, just as I thought. Nagito had lied to me. Aside from my information, it was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyiko, Kani and Sonia, and everybody who died had pages of information about them too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. Can't believe you make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie too. I turned the page continuing to my containing my information began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, height, weight and so forth. There's one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words reserve course student. There's no denying it. Confirmed that I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Why is it the only thing that isn't a lie? Why am I the only one who's from the reserve department? Why? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey! Hajime, did something happen? Ah, well, I just found a strange file. <gasps> Isn't that the special prize Nagato received when he beat the final dead room? 
As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. It's the profiles of everyone on this island are here too. Nagito was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information. But it should be all profiles of all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Chuck and Nina against me appeared into the file. You're right. My profile is really in here. Profile, in here. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. I'm like listening to them processing, like, uh, how sore my voice is today. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. But it could be possible to tie in who the traitor is. Look at who has the least amount of information in the book. Or the most. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, oh, hold on. Huh? Hmm, what happened? I, I just noticed it now, but... The file! His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles. But his name is the only one missing. Hmm? Who are, Who are you, you talking, talking about? about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. If I'm right, isn't Mitarai supposed to be in the class? Oh yeah, but the ultimate imposter is was acting as Mitarai, and Mitarai is still out in the world of despair. <laughs> ah. No way! So what if a name is written in that file? Perhaps, based on that, you think he might be the traitor? No. That's just because his name isn't written in here. It's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at Hope's Peak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, is definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name about the killing school life? Too bad. It's only wrong. There's a completely different reason. A, a different reason? You're getting all rushed up. With this. You guys even get to go all worked up about that Biakia for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounded Biakia does not exist. You're bashing it on the wrong person. It's steep speculations. Uh, what do you mean? What the heck? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through these profiles, right? Uh huh. My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly, I came across a page that was full of question marks. Every section was full of question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter? That! That's Biakia's true identity! T true identity? He was a fake of us pretending to be the ultimate to fruit progeny. Don't call me Biakia! A, a fake? <sighs> Hey, um... I've been focusing so much on the video, right? Because, like, my brain isn't on the buzz to joke, go crazy. As I normally do. Plus, nothing interesting probably is gonna happen until the trial. Like, Nagito appearing randomly while we're busy. Like, the trial is over and Nagito walks around the corner and says he wasn't dead this whole time. I believe, we firmly believe, even if it doesn't happen, it's gonna happen. These profiles filled with question marks. Isn't a mistake going oversight? Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and his age and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. Whoa. Oh, no, I'm not that. I'm not jealous of it at all. <sighs> that that person wasn't really Bakia Tsukami? Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter compared to where he was well in the killing school life? So cool! Oh, his physique doesn't affect his ability to for others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then, he was lying to us the whole time. But still... But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Oh... Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having a talent means you're bound to that talent. The moment you obtain that talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. 
In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a little more liberating. What the hell? Anyway! Um, anyway, I'm not happy you guys follow through a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right! So I'll tell you straight up, as I relate to my Pierre is exactly the truth. Uh, then, what was he trying to say to me that uh, at the time? I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. <laughs> Based on the context, am I had to guess? No, no! Maybe you were just complaining it was a curse to one of the earth is nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be tougher than you were meeting for the first time. <laughs> But since you went to Hope Speak Academy, you should have known about the ultimate deposit already. Uh, so in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Phew! Jeez, the Future Foundation show is awful. There's no way you should ignore my enemy or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the Future Foundation. Is it really someone like that? Of course! Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made it fast so you guys couldn't find out. Could it be? So, it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey! Um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there... <sighs> ...is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the trade is a spy sent from the Future Foundation. Not a student from Hope Speak Academy. You you made a fake profile for the trader and included it in there? Correct! Wouldn't it be funny if you got out who the trader was so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then, we can't use this file to figure out who the trader is. That was true for Nagito too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. Oh, speak Academy file. <laughs> it's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure about that? Otherwise, this isn't. Time's up, you know. The time's up? Wait. Bye-bye! Kill me for a moment. <laughs> Bing bong dick long. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Life! Life! Well, personally, I think time is. Time destroys living things. All living things is destroyed by time. Therefore, despite its importance, I think the more important thing to love in is space. Because time destroys everything and space is destroyed by time. Since time means destruction and space equals existence, that means time is not the most important thing for life. It's space. The more you know. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. Except for wasting space, because space is just like time being infinite. Space too is infinite, but we call it off space. That's why areas of space are an infinite. But space as a structure of itself, just like time, is infinite. That's why universe is always expanding, multiverse is always expanding. These are concepts that you need to keep in mind as regards to time. They're both important, but one is destructive and one is eternal. One is eternal. So, time's up! We will begin the last class trial! So please gather at Monokuma Rock! <laughs> I'll see you soon! I'll see you soon, Monokuma. I'll see you soon. <laughs> it's your man, Willow Cringes. I want you to like, subscribe, smack your face with the keyboard a couple of times, still notification set to always. Don't forget to check out all our links in the description. And uh, yeah, especially our other channel, Genshin, Exhausted Genshin. And yeah, pray for me. Can you ignore the protest with a mighty kick the door flew open? And then maybe that's what killed Nagito, the door itself. Like she kicked the door so hard, the doors went flying through the room, slapped Nagito in the face, the thing, the beam, the chains fell and the rope tied on him. Yeah, let's just say it was the door, okay? V is dead, maybe. <laughs>